everybody, my name is Casey and welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we are going to be designing and decorating the outside of my Able Sisters shop on my new island Willow. So this is the space that I have to work with. I'm honestly not entirely sure what I'm going to do with this area but this is just like a little bridge that I had already built that will lead up to it. So I also wanted to go ahead and show you all my map so far. I did a bunch of terraforming yesterday on the upper left hand side of my map. I honestly still don't love it right now, but that's okay. But I'm going to just go ahead and start up the Island Designer app and start decorating. For this first part, I'm going to just be laying down some trees to kind of frame the area and make sure it's its own little, like, I don't know, space on my island. And then I'm going to just be laying down this really pretty grass pathing that will lead from the bridge up into Abel's. For this pathing, I want to make sure that I'm giving it a lot of like curves throughout it and make it feel kind of just like windy but also making sure it doesn't take up a bunch of space because I it's not like the largest area that I have to work with for where I placed my Able Sisters. So I'm gonna just go ahead and continue on and laying down this pathing and then I will move on to the next part of the build which is usually what I'm doing right now planting flowers to kind of frame the pathing that I just laid down and so I for this island I'm going to be using a lot of yellow green pink and orange flowers and then white as well and then I'm kind of undecided if I want to keep this island in cherry blossom season or not right now I am just like right outside of the time frame for cherry blossom season so I'm gonna just see if I like it when there's no cherry blossom trees or if they have the cherry blossom petals on it I'm still kind of undecided but anyways right now I'm gonna just be laying down this little picnic blanket code right here then I'm gonna just place this loom on top of it and then I'm gonna try and decorate the surrounding areas right here I really wish I could use this stand eco but it just won't fit right there unfortunately so I decided to come over here and start laying down some custom codes and playing around with some items this build for whatever reason took me a little bit longer of a time to figure out what I wanted to do and I think that's because I've had so many different islands I think I've had like three or four now so I've I was trying to make the kind of placement of the items I use like really unique to this island itself so you'll see me kind of playing around with a bunch of different items and it does eventually come together so be sure to stick around until the end of the video but right now I am just trying to see where I can go ahead and use this rug code. I'm unsure if I want it here or next to the loom. I don't like how it looks next to the loom, so I'm gonna just put it over here for now and then place down a log bench and a cushion. And then I'm gonna go ahead and place down some more stunted trees and then fill in some flowers around this brick pathing that I did. So I'll let you all watch me do that for a little while and I'll pop back in and let you know what I'm working on next. For this area, I'm trying to figure out how I can fill in this weird little amount of space that's between like the land and my beach. So I figured I could put down a mush parasol and then a little stunted tree right here. I just am not liking the placement of how like the bushes are and the stunted trees. So I'm gonna just kind of mess around with that for a while until I can get it in a placement that I actually like. I think I mentioned this before in other videos, but I typically like to have my trees and like bushes and flowers kind of like staggered so they're not all in just like one straight line. So that's just what I'm doing right here. And right now I'm just trying to make sure that I can have like a little single tile pathway through this area so I can lay down some log planks because I do want people to be able to access the beach so I'm gonna just lay these planks down right here. Then I'm going to just grab some flowers that I set aside on the beach over here so I can go ahead and fill in the rest of this area right here with some flowers and then we will go ahead and move on to the left side of my build and figure out how we're going to fill in that space over here. 
So as I'm looking in this area, I am noticing that the pathing is a bit too thin in between here. So I just add like an extra tile. I think that it helps to take up a bit more space in this area without it seeming like too overwhelming. And then right here, I'm seeing if I like having some dress designs laid out in front of Abel's. The only issue with that is that it still leaves me like kind of an awkward amount of space right here to figure out how I can fill it in. So as you can see, I'm just kind of testing out different items. The wheat decor was too tall on top of that log stool. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove that blanket coat and then I'm gonna try and put down another pathing coat and see if I like it in this area. And then as you remember, I didn't use that mush parasol on the right side. So I'm actually gonna put it on top of this little grass pathing right here. I'm also going to use this turkey day garden stand and the wheat decor and place it on top of each other and put it right in front of my Abel's and then place down that mush parasol. I also want to be able to figure out how to incorporate this other stunted tree right here so I'm just moving some items around and I'm actually going to go ahead and move the mush parasol over by one tile so I can get it to fit in this little area and so I can still put a little fruit sapling behind that stunted tree so it won't grow. And then I'm just flipping out that um, carnations item with the cherry blossom bonsai on the back of that mush stool. I just think that it looks nicer there. And then I'm gonna try laying down this log bench with the mom's cushion. I'm not a huge fan of that. I just feel like it was too much like white going on in this area. So I wind up trying to go back to my original idea of having some clothes laid out, but instead of having them right next to each other, I'm gonna stagger them. And I think that looks nice so far. And so now what I wanna go ahead and do is grab a couple more flowers from the beach that I had set aside over here and then start filling them in on each side of this brick pad thing right here and then I have this little area off to the left side which I'm gonna start decorating right now so I'm just filling in some trees and then I will walk you through the process or my thought process as I am designing this area So right here, I'm thinking if I want to use one of these little four tile blanket coats or if I have enough room for a bigger blanket coat. And then I was finally able to incorporate these really pretty kind of like white flower picket fence. I don't know if that's the right word for it, but that's what I'm calling it. These blue and white flower standees right here and it looks like a little fence. So I'm really happy I was able to use these and then I can also plant the trees back in front of it to kind of hide the little hole in the standee. I kind of just wish Nintendo would give us the standees without a big hole in it. Like I'm, I feel like that couldn't be like too big of an issue to fix but I don't I don't know much about game designing so I, I'm not entirely sure. But anyways what I'm gonna do now is try and figure out how to fill in this kind of weird space that's behind the trees back here. So I'm just trying to adjust some of the tear forming a little bit and then you'll see me kind of swap in and out different items. I don't really like how that bookshelf looks there and I don't like how that mush partition looks back there. It just, it doesn't fit the whole like vibe for this area. And so I decided to leave it be for now and just try and test out some different blanket codes. And then what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna use this cherry blossom umbrella and see if I like that back there. And I think I'm just kind of coming to the realization that the items aren't looking good back there because I have those really beautiful standy coats that are blue. And so I think I will change them out for some more natural items like flowers or bushes. And here I'm just testing out different blanket coats that I wanna use. I really like this periwinkle blanket coat. So I am gonna just make it all into one big blanket. I just think it looks really nice, especially when it's um, right in front of those kind of bluish purpley standees that I have back there. And so now I'm just trying to figure out an item that I can use right here to cover up the hole in that standee. So I'm gonna just leave that turkey day garden stand and the wheat decor for now. And then I move that tree so I can extend out this blanket. This is such a beautiful blanket code. So I am gonna just have like a little like either seating or sewing area back here for the Abel sisters. And then here I'm just moving the trees in the background and then I will decorate this picnic blanket area and then I will stop back in. I 
I think I have a general idea of how I want to decorate this picnic blanket. I'll just need to run back and grab some more items. So for now, I'm just planting in some bushes and trees, and then I'm actually going to use this four tile circular blanket code on this side to fill in this empty space right here. The only kind of minor issue I'm running into with this area is that I didn't like the light yellow blanket coat against the light yellow dress so I just swapped it out for a darker color one and then I'm just laying down a book right here next to the zen cushion for like a little reading area or break area. So as I'm kind of looking at this area I'm not too sure I love this yellow blanket coat. I mean I think it's really beautiful I just think it's a bit too light for this area so I swap it out for this kind of beige tan colored code. I think it'll just mesh in well together with this area and then it's also a little bit smaller so I think it just fits in more nicely with the area so I'm just laying down the book in the zen cushion and then I'm going to just go back around and fill in any empty spaces that I may have left out throughout this build with some filler codes or little items so I'll let you all watch me do that for a bit and then I will step back in. So this is kind of the last bigger part of this build that I need to fix. So I am just fixing up this waterscaping and making sure the waterscaping looks natural and curved. And then I will have a waterfall that will be leading down to this little kind of river down here. And so I'm just going in and adjusting that a little bit. And then I also have to figure out how I'm going to fill in this area. I'm honestly just going to throw down some flowers and some filler coats. That is my favorite way to fill in kind of awkward or empty little spaces on my island is just using really beautiful codes and flowers that is just like the go-to for me so if you're ever struggling just remember filler coats and flowers but anyways I decided I wanted to add in this spinning wheel item so I think it looks the best right there and then I'm just moving this sewing box back around and then I do need to come up here I just like to add some trees to the second or third level if possible in a build so that's what I'm doing right here and then I really just need to kind of take one last look on this area and fill in this top area back here I want to have like a little sign that says willow on it up here and then I want to just put like a little log bench on it I found this really beautiful custom flag design that says willow and I was like shocked because I think it's just so beautiful so you'll see me put that on a little wooden plank sign in a second here so I'm just laying down another stunted tree and then here I will have the wooden plank sign and then I'm going to just put the log bench back here just kind of like if someone wants to take a little break from hiking in the forest and then I just need to add in a couple more codes and singular pieces of fencing and then I will take you all on the final walkthrough for this area. Okay, so here we are. I just time traveled to about seven o'clock in the morning and I just wanted to give you all one final look at how I designed my Able Sisters shop. So like I had mentioned earlier in the video, I wanted this path to be really windy and curvy that would lead directly up to Able's. And then if we go ahead and head on this way, you can kind of walk up this little diagonal brick path right here that will lead you to either an incline or a little picnic slash seating area off to the left over here by the river. So I'm really happy I was able to incorporate these standee codes back there. I have been wanting to use those actually for quite some time now. I think those first came out when the standee update was first announced. But right here, I just want to show you this area in the background right here. I'll try to get two separate angles of it. So when I say I like to have the second layer, third layer in the background have a lot of depth and that's why I spend so much time planting trees, this is why. I have a lot of different stunted trees and all the different types of trees so I really think that this can help bring a lot of depth to an area so I definitely recommend opening up your camera app and looking at a specific area if you think that it is missing something. But I hope you all enjoyed the speed build I did of my Able Sisters. I know I had a really fun time creating it for you all. I do have a new video coming out in the next couple days which will be a spooky Halloween island tour so I'm really really excited to share that with you all but other than that I really just wanted to say a big thank you all for hanging out with me and spending some time watching my YouTube video if you enjoyed this video please let me know in the comments below and subscribe to my YouTube channel but other than that I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you in the next one bye